Putrajaya was developed to house the Malaysian government's administrative center. Situated along the South Growth Corridor within the Multimedia Super Corridor, MSC, the development of Putrajaya marks a new chapter in the history of modern city planning in Malaysia. Well, when we do a very large-scale development, we can expect uh, changes in runoff and a lot of sediments to come down. But what happened is the designers then decided that they should build a series of wetlands. The master plan envisaged the construction of the 650 hectares Putrajaya Lake and wetland system to ameliorate the ecosystem. Today, the wetland system is the largest constructed freshwater wetlands in the tropics. The wetland system comprising 200 hectares was developed by constructing weirs across the small streams that straddle the watercourses of Sungai Chuau, Sungai Bisa and three other tributaries. The Putrajaya wetland perform an ecosystem's biochemical function of treating urban surface runoff as filtration and cleansing agents as well as the hydrological function that is centered on flood mitigation. The water filtered through the wetlands flows down into an urban lake. The Putrajaya lake covers about 400 hectares of surface area. 60% of the water source comes from the wetland while the remaining 40% comes from the surface runoff of the surrounding land. The Putrajaya Lake and Wetland is a prime example of applying the best management practices in integrating nature into the urban fabric using the eco-hydrology approach. It has successfully enhanced the various ecosystem services within the city areas that benefit the communities and lead to human well-being. The waters here serves its function as the main producer of so many aquatic microorganisms which make up a successful food chain. Where there is food, there is life. Hence, the wetlands act as the breeding ground, nurseries and homes to numerous plants, invertebrate, insects, amphibians, tiles, fish and birds. The fauna too had begun to change, the most noticeable being the increase in the population of dragonflies and birds. Like the wetlands, the lake is also self-sustaining and boasts a balanced ecosystem as well. Currently, there are almost 50 species of indigenous fish spotted in the lake, and this has made the lake as a favorite destination for avid angler. The Putrajaya wetlands has also won the hearts of bird watchers, as more than 150 species of birds have been spotted in the wetland areas during the last 10 years. Huge congregations of herons, storks, and egrets gather at the wetlands islands. Roosting, nesting, and breeding, 365 days a year, a scene not documented elsewhere in Malaysia. Some of these birds were initially migrants, but have decided to stay for good. The Putrajaya Lake is also fast becoming increasingly popular as a tourist destination. A well-kept secret is the public beach, where folks can enjoy some sun, and kids splash away in the water. Visitors can best enjoy the beauty of Lake and Putrajaya via Lake Cruise that highlights the many stunning landmarks around. The lake is an attractive proposition for both passive and active recreational activities and social pursuit. It's also been a high-profile venue for local and international sports events. The best management practices, the extra effort, and focus on all the other ecosystem services is paid off by achieving the high level of water quality in the lakes, as well as providing a more balanced ecosystem in the city. The Putrajaya Lake water quality is assessed based on a series of standards. Now these standards are derived solely and deliberately uh, to assess its suitability as a recreational water body. Um, uh, of course, uh, the pathogenic uh, elements of the assessment is crucial, uh, given that you do have uh, some degree of primary as well as secondary body contact. The application of eco-hydrology concept using wetlands and lake can be seen as a successful approach to pursue sustainability by bringing nature back into the urban surrounding and benefiting the communities. Originally, we only planned to do the hydrology, to control the hydrology and the water quality. But then we found that so many of the people around really liked having the water. Liked having the blue water, it's a very calming and tranquil effect. 
Uh, and that was when things changed, I think. Um, we realized that the lake was here for the community. With the implementation of an integrated lake basin management approach, which involved neighboring stakeholders, Putrajaya Lake and Wetland has been recognized as an operational site of the UNESCO IHP Ecohydrology Program in February 2011. This Putrajaya Lake and Wetland Systems serves as a role model for what needs to be done for the sustainability of our cities and for our future generations.